How's it going guys, Oliver here from WinBeta and today I'm going to be discussing pressing and holding the quick action buttons in Windows 10 Mobile. Windows 10 Mobile's Action Center is a massive improvement over its Windows Phone 8 counterpart. In addition to having access to more than one row of quick action buttons, it also features a touch gesture to access the more advanced settings behind each function. To actuate it, press and hold any of the quick action buttons. What comes next depends on the particular action. For example, holding on the Bluetooth action will open the Bluetooth settings page. Holding on the brightness action gives you the display settings page, which is also where you'd be taken for the rotation lock action. In keeping up with the latest beta OS trends, this feature's implementation is far from polished. For instance, you'd think holding on the camera action would lead you to the camera settings, but instead it does nothing. Same thing with the flashlight action, it doesn't even turn on the flashlight either. This would lead you to believe that if no advanced setting is associated with the button, nothing happens, but that's not the case. Holding the note button, for example, opens a new note. It doesn't do nothing like you've come to expect. For the actions that do have corresponding settings destinations, the journey to that destination is pretty sloppy. For example, if you hold the quiet hours action, you get sent to Cortana's quiet hours settings. But hitting the back button sends you to Cortana's main page, not to where you were previously. Heaven forbid you press and hold brightness, rotation lock, cellular data, battery saver, or the VPN buttons, because then you have to navigate backward through the entire settings hierarchy just to get back to where you were before. Unless you're going through Bluetooth, airplane mode, connect, Wi-Fi, or mobile hotspot. Those just work correctly without fuss. <laughs> <laughs> My god, just give me liberty or give me death, just pick one and stick with it. All told, this quick action gesture is great, it's very logical and intuitive, and I applaud Microsoft for putting in this addition. I'm somewhat sure the Windows 10 mobile team will eventually sort out its idiosyncrasies. But I don't think I've ever seen a product or service that's so inconsistent at being inconsistent. See you guys next time.